brakes aren't the best. This thing handles pretty fucking good. Ooh, good thing front end was off the ground. That could have been ugly. Might be a little on the stiff side, but for this area, I don't think you can really get it. If you go too soft, it's just going to be slapping constantly. Must be my lucky day. Well, what a treat this thing is. It is quite rewarding to drive. I have to say. So yeah, we got some uh, <clears throat> some rustler rear arms with uh, J Concepts choppers on the back, SCT, and some Duratrax speed treads on the front with stock banded arms, and uh, 2S. Just a Bandit XL5 with a brushless uh, VXL3S. And wow, Ultra Shocks. Still got stock fluid in them. Actually, I think I have. Uh, <clears throat> I put the Haas stock rear shocks on the back of this because I. Uh, I don't know. These are Rustler rear shocks, two-wheel drive Rustler shocks. I put the Haas stock shocks onto the Rustler. That is uh, in the process of being built, waiting on some parts. I gotta be honest, I think, uh, I think I wanna get another Bandit body and put it on the Rustler. I think the Bandit looks way better than the Rustler. The Rustler looks, eh, doesn't do it for me. Stadium trucks don't really excite me. Buggies look cooler. The only good thing about the Rustler or a stadium truck body is the protection to the shock towers, but I don't know. It's got a lot of snot for 2S. I mean, I hardly hit full throttle at all here. That was one blip of the full throttle. And it almost flipped over backwards. But I actually really enjoy the challenge that these things present 
to drive. Because sure, anybody can full throttle and whip it through the turns, but with these things you just can't because <laughs> you won't be on the track for long. I don't know. I really think it's pretty good. Not perfect, but it's pretty damn good. I know uh, <laughs> my brother had to bring out the uh, four-wheel drive rustler to really... Well, I'm not saying the two-wheel rustler didn't hang with it. But I feel like it was more of a challenge to drive than he really wanted. <laughs> so, I don't know. Only he can say. But I think it's pretty awesome. I can totally see why people get into racing these little two wheel drives. They're so cheap. To maintain by comparison to a three diff four wheel drive, high powered, even 4S is relatively. Oh, it had to happen. <clears throat> but even the, uh, you know, like four wheel drive truggy or buggy with three diffs and all the drivetrain components. It's a lot more to maintain than something so simple as this. I mean, I know these aren't considered race level, but I'm sure I'm not truly race level either. I mean, if I went to some club race for these things, I'd probably get smoked. But, I am game to try. I just don't want to travel. So maybe I have to put the word out. Get some... See if I can find anybody locally that's interested in this type of... racing. Which I'm sure there are, but then again, do I really want those people at my house? <laughs> no offense, but <laughs> I live in a rural area because I don't like most people, so <laughs> I might just have to settle for racing with my bro, which is cool. But you really want to get good you gotta expose yourself to more competition so I don't know at 51 years old and I really that hot for competition yes and no I guess I have to admit, I've never been so interested in RCs for so long as having my own track has allowed. Which is pretty cool. Blind Spot Raceway, that's what we should call it. I think most people wouldn't really be interested in racing like this. But, we make it like a spec race, you know, we run two wheel drive, whatever, practice, whatever you want, I guess, but obviously you can't expect this to really keep pace with a low C or whatever, but 
I mean, I guess it could, but somebody's got a 500-hour Losi, I'd say they have a pretty unfair advantage <laughs> compared to a, well, I don't know, what's a, what's a VXL band? It's actually not very cheap. It's like 270, 280. So, it's not exactly a cheap RC, but compared to a $500 Losi, uh, race caliber rig. But anyway, blind spot raceway. So we're going to start calling it. <laughs> because it is loaded with blind spots. Intuition. Intuition Raceway. Oh, she's a little ripper. Oh, I knew that was going to happen. You know why? Because there's blind spots. <laughs> and no, uh, no artificial intelligence allowed. No fucking TSM or AVC or any of that bullshit. All driver, baby. All driver. All right, so there she is, 1,000% sexy.